A very good Tuesday morning to you. You are watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday only on Y in the morning on Y254 channel. I hope you did catch that interview with Juan Joy Muchache. Now it's about time we do something very special on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Today we are featuring two people, two very special people for that matter, and they have an initiative which we would like to discuss as the cost of freedom. So if you do want to participate in the conversation, please weigh in. On Twitter, you can find us at Y254 channel. The hashtag is Y in the morning. On Facebook, you can find us at Y254. On Instagram, you can find us at Y254 underscore channel. And in case you miss any of the valuable insight here, make sure you do find us on YouTube at Y254 channel. So with me in studio, I have Benson Juguna and Francisca Mao. Um, the, this, these are very special people because they have an initiative called Emneti Huru. As young people and you're, and you're out there and you're broke and you're struggling, the, the, the inclination to, to, to delve into crime is very high. But let me tell you today, it's a bad idea. And you're going to hear the story for some two young men here. In fact, let me just say good morning to them before I dilute this. Uh, morning, morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Get on board to interact with this session. Okay. Yeah. So Mneti Huru is an initiative they started because they wanted to be to reintegrate ex-convicts and be able to bring them back to society and enable them to live with other people and coexist and have a life outside of prison. Yeah. So um, let me start with Francis. Mneti Huru, what inspired this initiative of yours? What's the story? Uh, story to me. Kwanza sisi ni Mike's convict mm -hmm. na like ile time tulikuwa released mm -hmm. uh, tuli, tuli get depressed uh, community uh, tulipata lashback kutoka kwa community hakuna msi alikuwa ata kutu, kutu accept mm -hmm. uh, ni masi, masi tu ya God na familia tu mm -hmm. ndiyo tukawana e eh, imekuwa ni, imekuwa ni problem sana mm -hmm. kwa watu wenye wana kuwa released kuja kuja ku acceptiwa mta mm -hmm. tuka tukaamua kushikana mm -hmm. ku, ku save pia eh wasionyo natoka pia ndani mm -hmm. eh ku ku wa reintegrate kwa community mm -hmm. yes okay benson how long were you in for and for what reason okay nimekuwa kutoka 206 mpaka 208 mm -hmm. mimi nilikuwa yule kijana singeshikika mtaani mm -hmm. kupigana manyo mangeta huko mm -hmm. So ndi, basically ni kashiko 206, mm -hmm. ni katoka 208. Mm -hmm. So ndi wafta kuka kidogo, kidogo, and then ube stangu ku, kushiko kuka. Mm -hmm. Tuka fikiria, ni, ni, tukona ni kama tunashare problem moja na ye. Mm -hmm. Tuka fikiria watu wengine pia wanyo wana kama. Mm -hmm. Wana pitia, ule kitu tunapitia. Mm -hmm. So ndi tuka form your support group na jita mneti huru. Mm -hmm. Kujalibu ku, ku, ku reintegrate ama, ama reformed. Mm -hmm. Wanda lainiyo wa reformed. Mm -hmm. Si kila mtu wana kujaga kwa organization tu yetu. Yes. Mm -hmm. Na nama tukufanya self-screening. Mm -hmm. Jutu wataka mtu wame reform. Mm -hmm. So ndi utu wajaribu bado ku pia mavijana mtani. Wanya waja ingia kwa crime. Wakuja on board ndiyo. Mm -hmm. Wala nko sequences za kujia engage na crime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. So you also want to recruit people who, who are inclined to, yeah, to yeah, do yeah. crime so that they don't end up sure. in prison as well. Sure. Francis, yes, how long sir. were you in and for what reason? Eh, uh, when I was 208 to 2010, I was going to robbery, robbery, to Ivi, kudunga na tu mtaani, eh, nika ngakujia nika deshwa, kidogo, eh, kotiko, kotiko, tu kamari zangori, ngori kakuwa, eh, ni Nairobi West Prison for two years, eh, saya. Okay, I would like to understand, um, in the course of these two years, um, on a day-to-day day basis, take us through the life of an inmate. What do you do from morning to evening? When you wake up, what do they do inside there? We'd like to know. Mm -hmm. Anyone want to answer that? <laughs> okay, life a prison in Nakoga, neutral it zero grazing, eh? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Muka, ushinde tu hapo. Mm-hmm. No, no. Mm -hmm. Unless you come from a long term, mm -hmm. you don't go to the section of the courses. Come at tailoring, welding, you do mob. But come when you come from a short term. Short term, yes. You don't go when you do zero grazing. 
unaamuka unashinda watu na wafungwa huko kidogo hesabu mm. ukule saa tano lunch saa tano lunch ndio <laughs> uh -huh. saa nane ukule sapa ama saa tisa mm -hmm. and then and then ufungiwe uwe kondani 6 mm -hmm. ufungiwe 6 sasa au oh. so you, you can imagine u, u, t, 10 years uko tu hivyo hata mm -hmm. kama unaenda section mm -hmm. uko tu yani your environment mm -hmm. so ni maisha zero grazing mm -hmm. uko tu pale pale mm -hmm. yeah can you take us through the psychological um the psycho wh where was your mind at what were you feeling in the course of those two years what were you thinking what did you think of yourself and what did you aspire to do after you you after you came out i can imagine a day of zero grazing must feel like a lifetime so can you take us through the mind the mindset of 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 an inmate when you're in that course of time that you're inside so someone at home can understand you don't just go to prison just like that you need to know that this thing's actually very traumatizing so i'd like to know what was going on in your headspace Mhm. Mm eh ka mimi mm -hmm. unapata wakati ngori liniangukia. Mhm. Mm eh before u come eh yo yo before uende kotiko. Mhm. Mm Unakoga remand. Mm -hmm. Nini hapa eh industrial area. Mm -hmm. So unapata hapo ukiumefungiwa hapo kwa remand unakoga ukihesabu eh ngori yako venye venye utangengana na ngori yako. Mm -hmm. So after eh kwenda kotini na judgment inatoka mm -hmm. so uki, ukienda inda au ukienda eh, nao nao prison mm. na we, nao ni mfungwa mm. sasa unaanza kujua eh, ngori yangu ni miaka mbili mm -hmm. eh okay ina take gi time kabla u adapt mm -hmm. ku, 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 kukua hapo hivyo mm -hmm. lakini una, 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 una after a week unaenda uki adapt uki adapt hadi sasa una unashika laini mm -hmm. the my luck my luck was nilipata na pia na wase wa area mhm mm wase wamefungwa miaka huko so kunivutisha laini huko haikuwa mm -hmm. haikuwa ni haikuwa hard mm -hmm. so nili adapt nili adapt haraka mm -hmm. eh wow. okay okay benson do you have anything to say about your headspace what were you thinking in the course of your two years as well so ni vitu mbao mtu fikiria do Tuseme umeangalia kwa TV hapo. Mhm. Mm kuna ma TV huko. Mhm. Mm so una imagine at pengine ni game mnaangalia. Mm -hmm. Unaangalia venye watu wana enjoy huko nje. Mhm. Mm Kidogo pengine uta, uta, utapata tu information pengine umetembelewa na mtu. Mm -hmm. Waambie suji nani alipass. Oh. So una imagine eh siningekuwa pengine ni ni close relative wako. Mhm. Mm Najiambia eh siningekuwa tu ningeenda ataka mm -hmm. mazishi huo mtu. Mhm. Mm so ni vitu mbao huwa tu zina. No nani? Mm -hmm. Tuseme unapenda kwa kotini. Mhm. Mm una kujua kiona ukiwa kwa basi ya hiyo inaitwa gomodia nini mudi hopa hiyo basi ya wafungo mhm sasa unatambia hivi mudi hopa eh mudi hopa aha unajua nini mudi by the mudi awarded for the reforms poor sana kwa kwa prisons aha na prisons sasa wana enjoy so ukiwa kwa hiyo mudi hopa unaangalia hiyo na mtu ako na gari yake hapo na kula ma yoga tapo na shindo yeye sasa Uta, utatoka lini hata <laughs> yogurt mazi unaanza kutamani uh, 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 kitu tu yote upatane nayo uh. yani na kutuma mpaka uh. una wish si ndio ilifika na hii basi na pale vi anguke chai <laughs> niona ni kama naweza penya <laughs> yani unafikiria tu vitu tu mbobe yani mm. naona no, pengine umekuja kumetembelewa mm -hmm. mtu wenu unashika mm -hmm. yani anaanza mm. kulia hapo hivyo chai unamwambia acha kulia mimi niko sawa niko sawa niko sawa so ni vitu tu mbobe wazi na no, mm -hmm. But side kitu nitaka in, unajikubali kwanza. Mm -hmm. Unakubali mimi niko hapa. Mm -hmm. Na time ya kutoka mm -hmm. ikifika nitato. Nitato. So kwanza unajikubali wewe mwenyewe. Mhm. Mm Ukijikubali hizo vitu zingine zinakuta kulega tu virahisi. Mhm. Mm yeah, uta adapt tu. Okay, so I'd like to understand um how did you guys get into the life of crime in the first place? How did you guys end up like that? Because uh, most young people like you're saying you're also trying to reach out to those young people who intend to 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 to, to join the crime gang and what have you. How did you guys get into the crime? What was going on in your lives? Eh ka mimi jo mtaani ni ungwaro. Eh place yenye mimi nimezaliwa ni place nyingine ni deadly mbaya sana inaitwa ilikuwa inaitwa Kiamboni. Mhm. Mm ni place yenye ilikuwa ni ghetto ghetto hivi. Mm -hmm. Mali madingu wote, madingu wa bunduki, madingu wa masaruku. Mhm. Mm yaani 
aina zote za wizi wezi, wezi wenyewe walikuwa na hiyo ndio ilikuwa area yao ya kujificha mm-hmm. so kidogo kidogo eh afu bado ni ilikuwa uzo dawa mm-hmm. saa kukula dawa kidogo unaona au una doya dawa unaanza kuchai chai mokoro hapo kiasi kiasi mm-hmm. kidogo una una, una mokoro mokoro ana anakuchuja kidogo una unataka kuvuta dawa unaenda una chai huko nje unaanza tu hizi hizi kidogo kidogo ya huko mtaani pickpocketing pickpocketing haitoshi mm-hmm. ivo ivo manyongo rio mm-hmm. nyongo rio itoshi addiction eh, that's so, what so, I'm so, understanding from your addiction no 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 so, mm-hmm. eh, from my addiction mm-hmm you get into now stealing yes. so stealing now unaenda uki graduate unakuta oh, eh kuna unakuta, levels eh, eh? eh unakuta <laughs> we ni maga mm-hmm. unatoka kwa magging mm-hmm. unaingia eh usaruku mm-hmm. usaruku ni pickpocketing mm-hmm. kidogo kidogo hiyo itoshi mm-hmm. unaingia sasa mm-hmm. kunyongana hiyo mm-hmm. hiyo itoshi bado so unaenda unaenda into level mm-hmm. alafu pia company unakuta mm-hmm. unashikana na kikosi fulani mm-hmm wanakufundisha wanakuvutisha laini mm-hmm. ya wizi wizi aina fulani mm-hmm. hivyo 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 unakuta eh hey, joe ni msese sawa robbery mm-hmm. kidogo kidogo unakuja una either una, unashikwa mm-hmm. ama unauliwa mm-hmm. eh hivyo ndio kwangu mimi ili ni happenian hivyo ndio story ya ilianza story yangu okay yeah what about you benson how did you get into the life of crime Okay ni tuseme tuseme mimi pande yangu nikaa company eh venye tu mimi nilikuwa tu footballer unaona nilikuwa mm-hmm. tunacheza ball tumeshikana hapo mtaani kwa na organization nyingine tunafanya tu vitu positive mm-hmm. but time ingine utakuta nime nime nime, nime kuwa na company mbaya mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. so katika hiyo company mbaya naanza ku, kuwa na ile tamaa ya kukaa kama hao mm-hmm. unaona So mm-hmm. kidogo kidogo tutambie ni aje pengine mko tu mahali basi tutendeni hivi. Mm-hmm. Kidogo kidogo na naye wamechangamkia Buda hapo hivyo. Mhm. Unaona? Mm-hmm. So katika hizo rakati unakuja unapatiwa 200. Mhm. Za macho. Mm-hmm. So zinaku zinakupatia tamaa. Mhm. Hiyo 200. Mm-hmm. So next time pengine mkitokeleza hivyo mm-hmm. utaki kubaki. Mhm. Utaki kupatiwa 200. Mhm. So wewe mwenyewe ndio unauliza kuuliza waseni aje kwa nini tutokeleze hivyo? Mhm. Unaona? Mm-hmm eh sina kwa unapata booster mhm ikidogo ndio yani inaanza tu pole pole mm-hmm. vile kama amekuambia mm-hmm. unaanza tu pole pole mm-hmm. unaendoki advance mhm kidogo unaanza kutengeneza mbonoko mbonoko ni, ni ile fake gun mhm unaona oh so that's what it's called the yeah. fake gun that uh, yeah. so some of these guns ni nafaa kuuliza is it real <laughs> anyway utauliza nani unauliza nani kuna wakati So unaanza kufishika hizo vitu mbonoko mhm unaenda uki upgrade hivyo mhm pia wale wase wako wako juu kuliko mm-hmm. wanafanya recruitment oh wanaangalia kwa wanashindwa wanashi, eh maskie eh, kama amesumbua sana raia huko uh-huh. so a, ni kama ame, amefika ana, anaiva yani unaona ni uh, anakoma ana kwa ile biashara so uh. watakuja wataku wataku nini wataku support ni kama unaweza support talent guy wana wana kama siku hizi watu wala, ni, ni yako na say hiyo area mm-hmm. kwa sababu eh hey, kama ni aje kama tuende hivi mm-hmm. so wewe una una upgrade sasa hivyo ah. so juu yako kingi ukiwa hardcore criminal mm-hmm. inaweza tu pole pole mm-hmm. with the time mm-hmm. with the time yeah with the time and then you find yourself now you have reached the advanced yes, uh, level yeah okay so um i can see there are some pictures that are on the screen uh, of you and um i can see this is you benson <laughs> yeah. yes yes Where, which prison is this and what is happening here hapa ni kamiti prison mhm uli beste wa huko mta mhm ajitaga abdi mhm so alikuwa alifurahi sana by the way mhm last time tuko tumeenda huko tukupatana naye mhm alikuwa mbele kwa hosi ana suffer from cancer oh yeah uh-huh. so tukupatana naye sasa alisikia vibaya sana so venye tulikoenda hii mara ya pili alifurahi sana mhm yeah okay i would like to understand um when you guys finally mm. left prison after mm. now after you've left that whole life mm. behind how did the society receive you how did your family members react how did um how was it like when you went to look for jobs outside there because i can see that is the reason why you you started this initiative there were some challenges you went through trying to reintegrate yourself in this in the society and francis you mentioned something very interesting about how also the police 
behave when you are released from their custody. So I'd like to hear your story. What was it that happened to you after you came, after you came out that caused you to have passion for ex-convicts as well? Eh, kwanza, eh, Joe, me, when I said I had a flashback to the community, because mm -hmm. wale ma vijana tulikuwa tunafanya ama tuna tuna chai nao mm -hmm. wote nilipata kwanza wame wamemadwa yeah. so sikupata marafiki wangu then you found all your friends are dead yes yeah, so walikuwa shamadwa guy niki 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 mm -hmm. so unapata sina sina friends mm -hmm. eh, pia pia eh, area nimekuta ni yani lifestyle ni tofauti mm -hmm. Ma vijana squeezy ni wengine mahadko wengine uko awataki kutuona mm -hmm. like no na mokoro pia mokoro is the only one eh, alini accept mm -hmm. eh, pia masizo alikona ni angalia zile za eh hey, uwe wame badilika kweli mm -hmm. no na and then ikakuwa ikakuwa ni ikakuwa ni hard sana ku ikakuwa depressed depressed mm -hmm. nini na shindo na jua na feel akuna msia na ananisho yo love not even the churches even church could not even the uh, church the congregation itself could not accept eh uh, yani like uh -huh. like our Jewish story yako na wataki hata kujua mm. so unapata ili ili ni ili ni ili ni ili ni sumbua sana mm -hmm. before nikuje eh, ni vuta laini mm -hmm. the good thing ni ati mori wangu alikuwa pia ya shavuta mm -hmm. sha ni shavuta laini akanivutisha laini mm -hmm tukabonga nini akani encourage nini 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 mm -hmm. kwa tu mori wangu tu rada mtani nini akani akani safishia mhm mm hadi sasa ikakuwa ikakuwa sana niko siezi re offend tena mm -hmm. so pi unapata ule karao alikushika mm -hmm. ule karao mlisimama naye kotini mm -hmm. bado kwa ile stage nje mm -hmm. so akifatana na wewe usiku mm -hmm. hi my friend ila akushande Kushanda ni kufanya nini? Ila kuwe, oh. akushoot. Mm -hmm. Like, chances zako za ku, kujaribu kumskiza mm. ati wewe we, we, you are no longer criminal. Mm -hmm. Ni kidogo sana, hezi kusikiza. So ni akipata na we usiku because mm. like kata ya na feel, huu mse nili, nili mpata kiiba, ni mempeleka kotini. Hamefungwa, mm, hamefungwa tena, hameachiliwa. So akona ile like assumption ya umsi ya jabadilika mm. unaona mm. so anaga anaga atikurudi nyuma mm. ni akikuta na wewe kupita saa moja mm -hmm. anakugonga na anakuwekelea kitu hapo hivyo so imekuwa ni challenging sana because wasi wengi eh, survival chances za wasi wengi ama mavijana wengi wenye wana releaseiwa mm. sasa hizi hawarudi jela sasa hizi ni kumado na mado mm. yeah so there so there are extrajudicial killings outside here as well for ex-convicts. I hope the government of Kenya you have now had there's an outcry here for people who are leaving the, the jail cells and, and coming back into society. And some of the police instead of instead of instead of encouraging them, they're actually coming out here and killing and killing these people. So I'd like to understand what's happening in this picture, Benson, before I ask you how your process, how you, how your integration process was. Because this is ten years ago by the way. So you're you're ten years free. Yeah. Ten years free now. What's happening in this, uh, I can see committee maximum prison. What's happening here? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. iyo ilikuwa ni committee maximum prison. Mm -hmm. Ni eh, tulikuwa tumi organize mavijana mm -hmm. kuenda kulan. Mm -hmm. Mavijana wenye kwa vulnerable tu kuingia kwa crime. Kwa crime tulikuwa yes. tumi wapeleka committee uh -huh. kulan kutoka kwa auma. Inmates. Eh, my inmates. Yes. Eh, Walan kusu vitu zenye wanadu. Uh -huh. eh, pia waki wakikuwa encouraged na mm -hmm. au ma, manini wasi wasijaribu kuingia kwa crime. So I like, I like the fact that you've said that uh, it has to be credible. It has to come from a credible source. Like it doesn't have any impact when you're, when you're a free person yeah. telling somebody yes. that jail is not, is not a good place. But it's, it's, more, it's more believable and it has more impact when you hear from an inmate sure. inside there. Like yeah. now this is the life that is here. So don't come here. Mm. But Benson, let me understand. Um, what was it about your integration process into society? that made you partner with Kina Francis over here and, and, and joined Emnity Huru. Because I've seen uh, you've spent also a lot of your time back in these same prisons where you guys were held. So it's kind of very, it's kind of spooky if you, if you ask me. But I'd like to understand your integration process. Okay, integration yangu ilikuwa 
kwanza venye yani kuna mtu kwanza kitu ya kwanza kuna mtu atakuja ku akwambie mm -hmm. sijui pole sijui nini mm. Yale, watu wenye ndio atakuja ku hata kupengine kuchukua huko prison mm -hmm. ama communicate nao kitu kwa unipigie simu nipate mahali fulani mm -hmm. but sijui best sijui nani mm -hmm. utaipata hata mmoja hata kuja kuvisit huko ni very hard mm -hmm. labda ule tu arifu yako right man wako mm -hmm. so kuja huko inakuwa na challenge and then there you learn your friends that you don't have friends yeah, you know you are true friends na na wala kuchekesha tu lakini kwa hatia amko pamoja so but mzuri mambaya kuna organization nyingine tuko tumeform tuko fanya kama cleanups nini mm -hmm. so venye nilikam mm -hmm. bado ni wapata bado wanaendelea na activities activities za mtaani uh -huh. so nilikuwa na nikaza tena kuendelea membership wangu mm -hmm. so at least kuna mali nilikuwa na mm -hmm. no, na kama ni, ni ma trainings wanaenda naenda mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so venye mali alikam na wase wengine walikam mm -hmm. ndio tukaanza ku kuona tuko na nikaa tuko na tunaongea kitu moja sisi wote mm -hmm. juu nikienda kwa meeting ya ile organization ya environment mm -hmm. au naongea mambo ya environment na mm -hmm. clean up mm -hmm. but zile vitu mimi nataka kufanya mm -hmm. zile kama nataka kufanya mm -hmm. zenye mwanangu nataka kufanya haziko aligned na zile vitu ile group inafanya mm -hmm. so ndio tukoonaje tushikane basi tukuwa tuki mm -hmm. these issues zetu tukiwa pamoja mm -hmm. juu tukienda kwa group ya mpira mm -hmm. au ni bora wanacheza mm -hmm. tukienda kwa wale wa environment au ni environment mm -hmm. but play in yetu issues zetu zitadesiwa kwa platform gani mm -hmm. so ndio idea mneti huru ikakam mm -hmm. juu kana na hiyo mtu yote amepitia hizi the collection of facilities mm -hmm. wanakuja kana makos mm -hmm. kuna tailoring kuna welding mm -hmm. kuna shughuli mob company mm -hmm. joineries mm -hmm. wako hizo skills mm -hmm. but shida ukua unatoka huko ndani mm -hmm. kupatia gwi nyundo ama mshumari ya kuja kufanya hiyo shughuli mefundisho ah. so objective moja yetu ya kushikana mm -hmm. ni kuja ku enhance hizo skills mm -hmm. unaona Juu mimi nimesoma welding, mali nimesoma tailoring. Mhm. Mm tukapata tuka, tukashikana hivyo tupata hizo vifaa. Mhm. Mm Tunaweza kuwa tukijia mpawa si wenyewe mm -hmm. na pia wale watu wanakaa mm -hmm. wako hizo skills wanakuja ku mm -hmm. enhance kwa community. Okay. So 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 you're saying that uh, some of these skills that you are taught while you're in there um, when you come out it becomes challenging because sasa huna resources za za kuji kuji kujisukuma nazo. Sure. Um um this Mneti Huru is em, Mneti Huru is very interesting because uh these people actually don't just sit down and talk to you or train you just they have a very interesting format of training of teaching people um uh or trying to get the message across which i found very interesting and i think they should tell you that um themselves uh francis you were telling me that um when you're going to to these prisons that you don't go and just sit there with prisoners and and uh, and your and your and your team and then Munaongia. instead you guys just come and play and and um through that you believe the message goes home so i'd like to understand um what is it about this method and how efficient has it been eh kwanza hiyo imekuwa imekuwa eh imekuwa fit sana eh si si uchukua kwanza ma vulnerable tukienda prison tukipanga prison visit si uchukua ma vulnerable youth wenye wako wenye tu wako kwa mangori siju tunawajua wenye wako kwa robbery wenye wana wana pickpocket mm -hmm. wase mm -hmm. si wachukua si ubonga nao tunawachukua tunaenda nao mm -hmm. tukienda nao mm -hmm. wanaenda wanaongeleshwa na wasi wenye wako ndani wakiongeleshwa mm -hmm. at least ukiongeleshwa na msi ana, ana face ngori yake mm -hmm. utamsikiza mm -hmm. so inakuwa after kuongeleshwa tuna interact nao tunacheza ball mm -hmm. wanakuwa entertained mm -hmm. Then au pia tunawa give hope through kama na wase my entertainer wetu entertainer yes. ka juggler mm -hmm. anakuja na juggle ball hapo hivyo na mm -hmm. eh, freestyle juggler mm -hmm. tunena sometimes si wenda na madem mm -hmm. eh ma wakanda kanda mm -hmm. eh, na wana feel like nika tuna tuna reenergize hope zao za ku mm -hmm. za ku zao za mm -hmm. zenyewe unaona tuna eh, nika tunawa fuel waendelee tu kujani on mm -hmm. kwa kifungu yao ama kwa sentence yao so not only yao. do you motivate vulnerable youth you also motivate the inmates themselves yeah so you also give ah. them hope yeah great great ah. great great i can see you have an initiative for a crime free uh, society yes. can you let us know about that benson yo yo ilikuwa ni activity mm -hmm. tulikuwa tufanya last year mm -hmm. but spend kuongea uongo hatukufanya mm -hmm. activity mm -hmm. juu tulikuwa tulikuwa sana nini 
funding. Funding. Mm -hmm. But I could stop it. I could find out. Zevi to 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 find out. But to me, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to June. Mm -hmm. God willing, I'm going to find out. No, no. Objective is to create awareness for mm -hmm. kwa, kwa community mm -hmm. through music. It is to artist who is going to perform up. An advocate for a crime-free society. Mm -hmm. It is to objective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I can see that um, you, you also have a lot of issues when it comes to funding, but uh, uh, Francis, Francis opened uh, a Pandora's box here for young people who always say that, oh, you can't do start something because there's no money. Uh, Francis here was talking about resource mobilization. Can you please break that down for us real quick as we conclude this uh, segment? Yes, I, yes, I see you. Atutegeme yati, like, akuna kitu ineza to stop isha ku advocate for what we want. Mm -hmm. C funding at Ineza to stop Isha. Mm. So CC would do, would do very simple uh, resource mobilizing. Mm -hmm. Kujaribu ku, ku, kushkanisha activity. Mm -hmm. Si uchukua, tunachukua gade mkaa yewe. Mm -hmm. Tunamuongelesha, tunamuambia si ufanya hivi na hivi. Mm -hmm. Uneza to support hapa. Mm -hmm. Tunenda kwa hapa si. Eh, maisha poa. Mm -hmm. Tunamuongelesha, anasema ata, ata tupatia matishu. Mm -hmm. Unasema uta tu lipi ya fea. Mm -hmm. Sisi tunabai sabuni. Mm -hmm. Tutakuta mse mwingine anasema ana atabai mm -hmm. Colgate na other toiletries. Mm -hmm. Then tunakuja eh, didi tunakuja tunazishikanisha mm -hmm. alafu tunafanya shughuli yetu. Wow. Eh, Inako garaisi tu hivyo. So teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> sure. Okay, okay, interesting. Um, it's about time we conclude this segment. However, um, if you would like to support Mneti Huru, where can people find you on social media? Do you have any contacts? If, if for example, you were to you were to reach out, or somebody would be willing to help or donate here and there, where can they find you? Okay, kutaka kutupata. Saya tu jadi advance na tu jengi sdi YouTube sdi website. Baru kau kau jitu le, unai zat tengen zat website. Tuza shukuru. So tu kau FB peke ake. Kau FB kuna kontak 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 tu yangu na yamali. So tu yaro kata kau kau communicate, unai communicate. Dulu kau page, sure respond effectively. Oh, yeah. So people can DM you on Facebook and you'll be able to uh, to to get to give them some feedback. Sure, sure. Okay, thank you so much for coming to Y254 TV. I wish you the best of luck in your journey. Ten years later, ten years free. The cost of freedom. Please appreciate your freedom when you have it. And also don't join. Just uh, Don't just in, indulge yourself into crime. You've heard it from the horse's mouth themselves that there's no life inside there. Ni zero grazing. So, Sijipeleke, don't zero graze your life, you know? So, guys, anyway, you're watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday, and don't say that because of no money, you cannot do an initiative and you cannot start an initiative. Thank you so much, you guys. Yeah. All right, please don't go anywhere. Joy Muchache is coming up next to the next interview.